shot down China's spy balloon. Now US lawmakers on both sides of the political divide want to ban the country's video hosting service, TikTok. That means 150 million Americans could be deprived of dance crazes, makeup tutorials, pranks, this guy picking up a cockroach with his own hands, and even serious discussions about politics. And even though our PM has barely heard of it... No. I'm not, that, I'm not that hip and trendy. New Zealand's among around a dozen countries who have banned it on government devices, worried China could take our data and use it against us. And now the US wants it gone entirely. From the data it collects to the content it controls, TikTok is a grave threat of foreign influence in American life. Our app is a place where people can be creative and curious. And where close to 5 million American businesses mostly small businesses, go to find new customers and to fuel their growth. Some senators seem a little confused about how this whole internet thingamy works. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? Can you say with 100% certainty that TikTok does not use the phone's camera to determine whether the content that elicits a pupil dilation should be amplified by the algorithm? But TikTok insists it doesn't share data with the Chinese government, and unlike Meta, which has been accused of influencing elections, there's little evidence the companies used our data for evil. We do not and we will not share information with the Chinese government. So is it time for our own talk block? Blah. Well, joining us now is Alan Robbins from Brainbox. He's paid to think about these sort of issues for us. And US intelligence, Alan, says that TikTok wants to steal our data and spread disinformation. Are they right to be worried? Every social media service collects a lot of data about its users. And every method of communication, social media services especially, can be used to spread disinformation. Certainly that applies to TikTok as well. I just haven't seen any compelling evidence that it is more problematic in either of those regards than any other. Well, the difference is that it's very closely connected to the Chinese government, which is a pretty stated enemy of the US, at least at the moment. So that puts it in a special category, right? Certainly it does. And that is the thing that's driving a lot of this concern. Do you believe TikTok when they say they're not sharing our data with the Chinese government? Well, there's been no evidence yet that they are. Certainly they could be made to by the Chinese government if they really wanted to, but I think that if there was proof that it was happening, it would have come out by now. And Alan, do you think there's any truth behind the idea that Meta might actually be behind this push? I mean, they stand to gain here, right? Well, I'm sure Meta would be delighted if TikTok's market share in the US opened up. Uh, there are a number of reasons why the US government is pushing this right now. And I think to put it all on Meta is to really overstate their involvement in the situation. Is there any app you've been wary of? Any app you've got rid of off your phone? Look, I'm probably the wrong person to ask this. <laughs> I'm not really on any social media platforms. Uh, I have very few apps on my phone. While I am a tech expert, I, I live a little bit more Luddite-ishly than you might expect. <laughs> People are banning TikTok. Elon's burned Twitter to the ground. I mean, no one really uses Facebook anymore, do they? Is this the end of the social media era? I think that social media as we have known it for quite a long time is coming to a little bit of an end. You know, all the old giants are facing problems. Their business models are not as sustainable as they once seemed, and they're getting sustained regulatory attention for the first time in kind of their lives. So social media itself is not going away, but social media as it was in 2014 is probably changing quite a lot. All right, Ellen, thanks for your analysis tonight. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so fascinating chat. It's, it's interesting to me, though, that TikTok gets lumped in with all these other kinds of social media. Because for me, it's not even really social media, right? It's just media. It's just this endless stream of videos into your eyeballs. Right. Like, at least Facebook makes some gesture towards making you a better person. <laughs> Reminds you of your friend's birthdays. <laughs> helps you plan a party. Yeah. Yeah. TikTok is like the concentrated fentanyl of social media. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Well put the question it. was, should you take it off your children's devices? The answer is yes. Um, just to show them who's boss, for no other reason. <laughs> <laughs> Good parenting advice from Corbett, as always. Yeah.